Hey guys, what is up? It has been from Games Bulletin here. Welcome to the Daily Bulletin for the 7th of October. Okay, so we have some awesome stories for you guys. Let's jump straight into it. Kicking things off, I have some good news for you Far Cry fans. There is a new Far Cry game coming called Far Cry Primal. The game is going to see the series head to the Stone Age, where the game takes place in 10,000 BC, where creatures such as the Mammoth and the Sabertooth Tiger exist. The press release states that the game is played as Takar, a seasoned hunter and the last surviving member of his hunting group. The press release states that players have one single goal, to survive in a world where humans are prey. It goes on to say they will meet a cast of memorable characters who will help them push back and tame the dangers of the wild. Along the way they will have to hunt for food, master fire, fend off fierce predators, craft weapons and tools partly from the bones of slain beasts, and face off against other tribes to conquer Oros. Far Cry Primal will release on the 23rd of February for Xbox One and PS4, and will come later on in March for PC. Now honestly, I'll admit to you guys, I'm a bit dubious about this. To me, Far Cry 4 was just a reskin of Far Cry 3, to the point where if you put Vaz and Pagan Min side by side, you would think they were father and son. I understand that surviving in the wilderness is kind of like a theme of Far Cry, and I get that, but they really need to bring something else to the games. It gets really tedious for me, because there's not much else to the games other than, you know, ooh, you have to survive and you have to craft fins from animals that you kill and have to take over the land. I get that, but you need to bring something else to this game if you want the series to carry on and bloom the way that it has. Next up I have some good news for those of you who are Dragon Age fans but have been unable to play Dragon Age Inquisition. Yesterday saw the release of the Game of the Year edition of Dragon Age Inquisition. And it is a fucking doozy. So the Game of the Year edition includes all DLC, which includes the Jaws of Hakon, the Descent, and the recently released epilogue Trespasser, as well as all the official add-ons, which include a variety of weapons, mounts for your horse, and all sorts of other things. So the Game of the Year edition will release at the usual $60 price, so it's about £55 here in the UK. It's not surprising, this game won 160 awards, 130 of which were for Game of the Year. So it is a big blockbuster game, and it's nice, I mean, I have the game, but I don't have any of the DLC, which I'm kind of pissed about, because I heard the DLC is really fucking good, so I might have to buy this. If you have not yet bought it, and you are a Dragon Age fan, or some any kind of RPG fan at all, buy this game, I swear to you now, you will not regret it. If you have the time to put into this game, this game will deliver. And finally, to kick things off, some more news that I can get behind. Metal Gear Online has officially launched, but only for console users, PC users. I am sorry, you will have to wait until January. Metal Gear Online is a squad-based multiplayer experience that is set in the game's open world. With the launch of this, it means the collector's edition content is now redeemable via the codes that came in the case. And this also accounts for the XP boost that came in the day one edition of the game. Now, if the trailers for Metal Gear Online are anything to go by, I really want to fucking play this. I didn't get to play it when it's released previously, but this time I'm going to be on this. It looks fucking awesome. You guys know I love Metal Gear. Metal Gear is my fucking franchise, favorite franchise of all time. And I'm fucking stoked. I cannot wait to play this. I really can't. That wraps up today's Daily Bulletin. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give the video a like, do let me know, and I'll see some more of you guys tomorrow. See you later. People outside of me, it's so fucking noisy. This thing won 160 rewards. Rewards? Awards. Oh, awards. There is a big fucking difference. And about wraps up today's daily bulletin. Hopefully, without knocking the mic.